Hi everyone, this is Brandon here. So we are on our episode 2 of our The Sherbert Challenge series. So you guys have been giving me a lot of army combos to try it out. And I can't try out all. So usually for one episode, I'll try maybe 5. So the first one was submitted by John Laroque 7 So he asked me to use 6 balloons, 1 dragon, 1 lava home, 5 minions, 1 golem, 7 wizards, 6 war breakers, 1 pekka, 30 barbarians, and 30 archers in my clan castle. And with this army combo, I will be able to use one spell, and he has asked me to use Rage Spell. So now, just going ahead with the attack, it's uh, not a difficult uh, army combo to use, but with 235 slots, of course, it's more difficult than the previous episode where I was using 240 housing slots. So now with 235 slots, just 5 troops less, of course, it got slightly more difficult. And uh, just with more practice, of course, it got slightly easier to attack this particular uh, Sherbert base. So um, it's, to be honest, it's not a very difficult challenge right now, but of course when time progresses and you guys are setting the kind of troops that I'm able to use and uh, control the troops that I'm allowed to use and not allowed to use, then I'll have to think of a better strategy to try to attack with a reduced number of army uh, troops that I have. So as you can see, I'm just uh, doing pretty well right now, uh, especially with uh, balloons. Uh, balloons I feel that are really important to attack this uh, base easily. So if you guys uh, want me to increase the difficulty, you guys can set that I, I won't uh, be able to use any balloons, uh, including the ones in my CC. Some of you guys haven't been mentioning what kind of CC to bring. So the next one was submitted by Logan. He asked me to use 1 Golem, 6 Hawks, 3 Valkyries, 15 Warbreakers, 15 Minions, 7 Wizards, 1 Dragon, 1 Pekka, and 23 Archers. However, it's total up to 240, so I took 5 Archers off the army. And he asked me to respond if it sounded great, so I did respond. And of course... This is going to be my respawn, which is I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to attack. And also giving people shout out. So I have done that for the people who have submitted my uh, army combos. That, this army combo allowed me to use 3 spells because I only brought 1 dragon and 1 golem. And of course I won't be able to use my heroes because I have been using a dragon which is 20 slots and above. And a golem which is 30 slots. So uh, just, just some things you guys have to be reminded of that I won't be able to use any heroes if the troop that I'm using is more than 20 slots. And uh, if I'm using um, 12 slots and above troops, I won't be able to use uh, one spell, minus one spell basically. So uh, it got pretty easy as I before that I did test a lot of times uh, before you guys uh, submitted any of the army combo. I tried even uh, using Barbarian Archer to try to... Um, take out this base in the best most optimum manner but however barbarian archer is just pure too uh, difficult to even do it especially without heroes uh, even using uh, all five spells with barbarian archers is kind of a uh, tough to even just two star this base because of the splash damage of the defenses there are just too many splash damage uh, defenses on this particular base itself uh, being six motas and also six wizard towers so the third challenge was submitted by KCH. She asked me to use 15 more breakers, 1 Valkyrie, 9 minions, 5 hawks, 1 golem, 1 healer, 2 witches, 26 goblins, 6 giants, 7 wizards, and 2 archers. And he hope I like it. So yeah, thank you for this uh, army combo. So basically, these are some of the army combos that I do take into consideration. Some of you guys have still been asking me to use like all healers, uh, 1 hero, or all healers, uh, 1 golem, or all golem. And... Uh, all healers rate or whatsoever thing um, of course that doesn't uh, meet the rule requirement and some of you guys have also replied to them saying that it, it broke the rule this and that so I thank you for that also uh, some people do not understand the rule of this particular challenge itself um, although the start as you can see is rather easy but when time progressed as we reach to like episode 6 or 7 you really get more difficult so uh, just stay tuned for that and uh, hopefully you guys can watch more of it. Every uh, episode I'll usually do around 5 raids. So if I do not pick your offer as one of my choice, don't be too disheartened. Just comment in the comment section below again. And I'll look through it again and of course the difficulty level will increase especially when the troops, the housing space will decrease. So you can decrease it accordingly. So probably those people who are waiting to reach like 200 housing space or whatsoever then you guys comment and then probably want to see me fail. Or maybe I'll attack like 20 over tries just to uh, get the 3 star. Uh, hopefully I don't do too many times especially if it costs too much gems. Because it's really quite painful to use too many gems on this particular challenge itself. Spasha, he asked me to try 25 bumps, 25 arch, 30 goblins, 15 war breakers, 6 giants, 7 wizards, 1 dragon, 1 golem, 1 healer, 4 minions. And CC troop will be any troops. So he asked me to use 1 free spell too. 
However, uh, it's 240 troops, so I took 5 goblins away, so it's all 25, 25, and 25. Although this challenge is rather easy for now, but it's pretty fun because I get to use many, many different army combos. So it's like a test of strategy trying to uh, try out different army combos uh, with a different attacking style, this and that. So it's kind of fun not using the usual go wee wee or go, go wee wipe, or in fact, the, my usual Lalumian's strategy so it's pretty fun i mean if you if i were to use my normal lalumian strategy on this base i can just practically wipe out this base um using only half the troops that i usually use especially with my king and queen in the uh usage also so without the king and queen is of course uh, more difficult so i really appreciate the standard of difficulty you guys have been setting for me and of course the rule that i've set up so now you can see i've been using a lot of wall breakers i was asked to use 15 wall breakers so wall breakers they're practically useless so i have a hard time uh, trying to use them uh, pretty well so just use them to distract some of the uh, defenses and also try to just break through some of the walls so i would think the most useful troop are like the balloons or the giants and in fact a golem would be nice too but of course uh once the housing space start to decrease you guys can uh uh, decrease those armies that I've just mentioned and then after that the difficulty will increase a lot we progress further and further into the next and next episodes it will get more difficult for me so the last attack is the Noah Ark attack which actually is two of every single troop and of course I need to fill up my remaining troops and of course those troops that contain like 30 or 20 over slots I only could only bring one such as the dragon, Becca and golem and also the lava hound itself so I decided to choose this attack because it was a rather interesting attacking idea uh, two of every single troop I have uh, not done this before to be honest uh, I usually do like one of every single troop and the remaining troop are like other stuff so two of every single troop, um, this is my first try and of course just adding sh attacking shepherd towers ain't too difficult so uh, dropping one golem and one backup then after that following by wizards behind uh, one wizard on each wizard tower uh, do don't have enough uh, wizards to clear more so uh, two giants at the back, just one healer actually I didn't meant to drop the healer itself um, usually I'll drop the healer once the air defenses are down but it's okay, I got another healer on the way itself so just drop, dropping the second healer, going for the attack so not too difficult using a no arch arch which um, it's quite a fun uh, way to attack and of course uh, once the difficulty level increase again as mentioned maybe I have to use a single no arch arch which is one of every single troop which if I'm not wrong it totals up to 165 slots so if we are able to reach like 165 housing space which is going to be kind of insane and with that I won't be able to use any of my spells and also without any heroes 165 slots just pure troops uh, not counting heroes and not counting spells I think that would be super duper insane to even just attack this uh, relatively easy base and it's going to be quite a challenge to try to um, sort the troops out to use them in the most efficient manner so that I can get the base uh, to be 3 start so just yeah the left last building just took it down 3 star so it looks like we managed to complete this particular episode of 235 housing space so the next one will be 230 housing spaces you guys can stay in the comments below again what kind of troops you guys would like me to use and of course with the criteria being met maximum of 30 slots of a particular type of troop do take that in mind i repeat again 30 slots of one particular type of troop you guys some of them have been suggesting to me like use four healers six healers and even all healers uh, which of course breaks the rule so do take that into consideration and of course i will wait for the comments and thank you for watching my video and clash on